the rainy season in the Rift Valley in Ethiopia? Not that you can tell. There is no humanitarian crisis here like elsewhere in the Horn of Africa, but this area is no stranger to drought. Our life is not good because there is no rain and no water. The water that exists isn't clean, and when this is exhausted, we are hardly surviving. It's not a life. Hassan is a pastoralist, one of about 12 million in Ethiopia. They depend mainly on livestock and travel great distances to find water and grazing land. They are the ones most affected by drought. They have been uh, marginalized for centuries. Uh, they are living in an arid and semi-arid areas in a harsh uh, climate. They are the ones who are actually uh, highly uh, vulnerable for man-made and natural disasters. And due to climate change, droughts are now far more frequent. They occur every year or two, rather than every five to ten years, so it's a daily battle for survival. When there is no rain, there is nothing for livestock to eat. During this time, the livestock die. When this happens, we also suffer. Life is equal to death. But Hassan now plays a part in preventing such a tragedy. He has recently been trained as a community data collector and is one of over 500 in the country. He checks the water supplies, crops and livestock in his community, noting any warning signs of drought. I see if the water is clean, whether it is possible for people to drink it. Also, I look at the volume compared to yesterday, if it goes up or down. Hassan makes weekly reports to the district level, and they analyze the data and feed the information to higher levels of government. Before, we didn't go to the community to get information unless there was something serious. So the existing situation didn't reach us quickly. Now it is very fast. This early warning system is supported by the Pastoral Community Development Project, or PCDP. They say it gave them a chance to respond to the current drought in the Horn of Africa by providing water and animal feed, preventing a bigger crisis for Ethiopia. But where Hassan lives, it's a different story. Now there is no rain. There is also no crop. What we got from last year's harvest is almost finished. This is the situation. But when I report the problem, I don't get any response. PCDP says the government has limited resources, so it has to prioritize and focus on the worst affected areas. We cannot claim that uh, the system is perfect in all parts of uh, the pastoral areas. So it needs uh, to be you know, strengthened further, and this is actually the government in doing. The early warning system is not enough on its own. PCDP combines it with projects that build pastoralists' resilience to drought, such as irrigation schemes, water harvesting, and alternative livelihood opportunities. The UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development, or IFAD, financially supports these projects. And according to its president, these long-term investments are the only way to prevent future tragedies. We have to invest in agriculture. We have to invest in rural development. We have to invest in infrastructure. Droughts will always occur. They occur, they occur worldwide. Australia, Russia, the United States. Do they, get, do they get food aid? Life may not be easy for Hassan, but this early warning system provides hope that he will never have to rely on food aid.